really, 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 really sucks to know that next week is the finale of Torigo. Like, I feel like I've done this before. Why do I feel like I've done this before? Oh, yes. Bleach. Exactly. It, I'm really getting tired of getting into series, reading them for a while, and then they get rushed to oblivion and kind of pretty much get axed. It, I'm getting real tired of that. I, I really am. I really am because I like Toriko. It's not my favorite series, but I like Toriko. It's a good series. It's, it's fun to read. It has a lot of action to it. It's got some good world building. I love the panels and art. And to now know that next week is the final chapter, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm sad. I mean, we, we've all known for a while now. I mean, we all have known. We've sensed it. I mean, it's been there in our face the entire year. It has been. And just now knowing we have like a date now, I mean... Anime News Network literally stated November 14th is the final issue. At the end of this chapter, it said next chapter is going to have 31 pages or 30 pages. And so it confirms it final chapter. And I'm like, oh. Like, then just, okay, let, let's just speak about why this is upsetting. And in the grand scheme of things, okay? For a very, very long time, a space arc has been built up. And. I've been on the fence right now wondering, is it the conclusion of the series, or are we going to get that? Because many, many diehard fans of Toriko, really diehard fans, have been talking about the space arc for a very long time. But it's not going to happen. It, it, it's not happening. Exploring space, different planets and worlds, whatever, that's not happening. That will not happen. And that really makes me sad because it's been built up for a long time and it's not even that it's not even that the, the white demon the winged demon it, what what was the purpose of this demon being introduced if he wasn't going to be even used in the first place like at the end of this chapter in you know in the fight of Acacia versus Toriko Toriko couldn't even use his third demon for just a second. Just one second was all he could use his demon for. And then he had to go back inside because Toriko was not powerful enough. The man literally one-shotted Neo or Acacia. Hit this man. Done. And then when Ac uh, you had to where Acacia slash Neo was going inside of Toriko's chest, his cells succumbed to it and said, like, I can't uh, win. I am defeated. And so because of this, we knew how powerful Wings was. But now that we know next week is the final chapter... It, our questions on the abilities or the extent of the abilities or powers for, you know, the wings, it, it's like, what? Like, what was the purpose of it? And I feel like overall, the entire year, it has been rushed full speed ahead for this series. I mean, there's been a lot of signs, warning signs throughout this series. I mean, look at a lot of the different arcs, like the main full course of Akasi's menu that was completely skipped over, hunting down and stuff. I mean, it was just completely rushed. And that was a very, very crucial and big thing that was completely skipped over. All this character development and all that that some of the characters gotten, we know they got some form of development the way they were interacting with each other, but we never got to see that. And clearly... It's been getting rushed for a while, and I feel like the mangaka has been well aware of this for a while, that his series is coming to an end, and most likely Shonen Jump has been saying something behind the scenes to him, but I'm just sad. I I'm so sad to say that Toriko is ending next week. I mean, it it's such a good series, but now knowing that, it sucks. So, getting off of that, let's just talk about the chapter in general, okay? Besides the finale shit, let, let, let's talk about the chapter. So, the chapter for the most part, it's a good chapter. Like, besides the Neo stuff, which I don't really 
except, like, for instance, you know my thoughts. I said it last week. I'm not the biggest fan of Neo being kind of a good guy now and trying to be buddy-buddy with Toriko and all them. I'm not the biggest fan of that, but regardless of that, everything else of the chapter was relatively solid. I I'm actually completely fine with this chapter. I mean, overall, the main point of the chapter was the conclusion of Acostia slash Neo versus Toriko and everybody else. It concludes that battle in a very tasteful fashion, no pun intended. And it also ends it to where a bunch of flavor pops up around the world in galaxies, multiple galaxies form, and Neo is spewing out stuff out of his stomach for literally days because he, he was just, you know, getting all that out. He was getting completely emptied out for this new food uh, and tasty food can be spread out throughout the universe. And that's kind of how the chapter ends. And then with the chapter's conclusion, Toriko offers some food to Neo, and Neo takes it. And this was the first time Neo has ever experienced something like this, where someone wants to share food with him. And I mean, overall, I understand the moral of it, and that's kind of what Toriko has been about the entire time the series has. So it doesn't really go against the overall meaning of what the series stood for, and what type of character Toriko is. I just, you know, the final villain being kind of nice like that, it just it doesn't sit right with me personally it just doesn't sit right with me but i understand the message of it so the point of the chapter was just to let us know that the battle's over that's what it was i mean Mira also gave up like you know his savoriness too he used his food luck to spread it around you know the entire planet you we get to see set to know she's completely fine she's wounded i'm surprised she's alive i don't even know how the fuck she's alive but she's alive somehow and everybody realizes that the battle is finally over so, everything is all in well. I mean, everything is fine. Everybody got healed. We see some Beast Kings get healed. We have all our main characters that got healed. Just overall, a bunch of characters were fixed up, healed. And it's like just saying, GG. It's, it's over. It's done. And, and that's kind of the perfect way, I guess, to say about this chapter. I mean, you can see that it is reaching into the final stages. I mean, next week is the final. Because, you know, with the way this chapter was set up, there you go. If I had to place any bets on what next chapter is most likely going to be about... Most likely is going to be about, you know, Toriko's wedding, probably the final afterthoughts or epilogue of the characters, whatever they're doing in the future. But overall, though, I could see the wedding being the main central point of the final chapter to kind of conclude it. Because we do know Toriko promised to marry when he was done with everything. So that's probably what the final chapter is going to be about, why it's probably 30 uh, plus pages. And it's probably because it wants to focus some parts of that chapter to that. Now, Toriko also finishes his full course, so that's something he set out for a while to do, and that's like his in-game goal. I mean, if you think about it, all shonen or all series have that in-game goal. I mean, you have each individual shonen, like, character, like, let's look at, you know, for instance, you know, One Piece. I want to find the One Piece. You know, One Piece become the Pirate King. That's kind of how Toriko is. Toriko had his one goal. He wanted to, you know, have his full course. He wanted to complete that, and he finally did with this chapter, so in a way... I'm satisfied because the main objective was concluded with this series. I mean, it was concluded. I mean, in terms of what we set out with at the beginning of the series, the objective was concluded, but in terms of what everything was done, like how everything was set up, it makes me upset because there's just so much more that was built up that we will never be able to see continue. And I mean, I guess the way the meat dish was handled, it could have been handled a little bit better for Toriko, but, I mean, you gotta work with what you gotta work with when you, your series is literally getting axed and showing jump saying, Hey, get the fuck out. That, that's pretty much, you know, what's happening. So, most likely, you have to do what you have to do when you have to, you know, rush a story. So, yeah. Next week is my final video on Torco. I don't even know how to feel about that. I, I'm, I'm still in utter shock right now. I, I am in legit shock. I mean, I just finished making, like, what is going on weekly Shonen Jump video. But I'm still in shock right now of just Torco ending. Too many series have ended this year. Way too many series have ended. It's it's disgusting, honestly, because, I mean, a lot of these series I really care about, I've read, and now knowing they're all ending, it makes me sad. It leaves that hole in your chest because you're like, what if I don't find a series I enjoy this much for a very long time? Because, I mean, it, it can happen. So, yeah. Thoughts on the, uh, one of the last chapters of Torico. What's everybody's thoughts on this? How do you feel about, you know, the finale next week? I mean, 30-page special. I mean, let me know. You all have a uh, wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.